The next episode in our 21 Digital Film Series is now online. The series examines the simple question of, does where you live in the state affect how you live? 21 profiles one person in each of our 21 counties and looks at the social determinants that affect that person's life. The latest film introduces us to Teresa Williams, co-founder of the Spring Street Community Development Corporation in Morris County. She left the corporate world to help those in need, starting with a missionary trip to South Africa. Teresa spoke with our Brianna Benozzi about her journey. Teresa, I don't have to tell you, um, but the work that you and your family do is incredible. How do you wake up one day from having a corporate job <laughs> and decide to put that all away and entirely change the path that you're going down? Yes, thanks, Brianna. It, it was an easy decision, but with a lot of prayer and just a tugging, there was some type of tugging that we felt we could do something different, something greater, we felt we, the need to serve others in a different way. And um, that just, it's a bit, um, my husband had felt the same way. I felt the same way. We talked to each other. We just decided to make a couple of drastic decisions. A couple of drastic decisions being pick up, go to South Africa on as a missionary, um, and then come home and you all created this Spring Street Community Development Corporation. What is your mission with this organization? If I just really wanted to sum up in terms of what our why is, you know, why we do what we do, it really is just so that those who are feeling disenfranchised, who are just feeling disconnected, are struggling, that they have a voice, that they feel heard, that they feel cared for, and that they feel like um, there's people out here who do want to help and do care. I see the shirt that you're wearing, Table for Hope. Um, you all do that through providing food, tutoring, uh, college services. What other outreach do you have and what has the feedback been like from the community? Yes, thank you. Um, we also, we are involved in recovery and reentry um, where we provide support and support groups for those in recovery and those who have, you know, recently come out of prison or who have been incarcerated and can encourage others who've come out of prison. But what we find and what we do is that as people come together to support and strengthen others, we're finding people that normally wouldn't speak to each other or would just be in different circles um, are talking. We're seeing friendships being created. We're seeing friendships being created with those who are serving, with those being served. Um, we're seeing those being served becoming volunteers to help serve others. So it's it's this exchange that's actually come that we would have never thought of or anticipated but the energy and around you know being of service to others is just incredible and that's what that's what gets me excited and and, and continues to give me hope how has the last three years the pandemic uh, the economy uh, impacted the work you're doing does it look different now than when you first started out um, yes, absolutely. So prior to the pandemic, um, for an example, our food pantry served maybe 65 people a week. March 2020, that number went from 65 to 2,000 a week. But we're still here um, and we're still looking to support um, the community, you know, and, and meet the needs. Teresa Williams, thank you for sharing your story with us for our 21 series um, and just continued good luck with everything you're doing. Thank you so much. And you can meet Teresa and the other extraordinary Jersey residents at myNJPBS.org backslash 21.